Or not even ancient, we're just in like a mystical area of Japan, I guess. Fighting, uh, equally matched. Oh, I fell the pit! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're checking out Shinobi on the Sega Master System. Shinobi, of course, is Japanese for the ninja of many battles. I assume, I guess, actually. I don't know what Shinobi actually stands for. I guess he's just sort of like modern ninja man. Um, truthfully, I actually had to look up whether I've played a Shinobi game before on my channel, and it turns out I have. I've played a couple. Um, but it's not that I forget playing them, it's that I always confuse them with Ninja Gaiden. Uh, because Ninja Gaiden and Shinobi is just the, the sort of ninja games from, like, the NES era, in my mind, like, sort of the late 80s. Um, this game did come out in 1987, and you play a modern-day ninja named Joe Musashi who has to stop a terrorist organization named Zed. There was a lot of, uh, you know, anti-terrorist video games in the 80s. There were, heroes were always fighting uh, terrorists, but uh, but this guy is not named Shinobi. I don't know who Shinobi is. Maybe he is Shinobi? Maybe he that's like his superhero name. He's Joe Musashi, named Shinobi. But anyway, let's go ahead and start the game. So, file 4162, Ken O. I guess he's the bad guy that we have to defeat here. And I guess we have, like, children or... Oh, I didn't need... Okay, I don't know how I did that. Okay, I think there are children who've been kidnapped. Um, I gotta, like, figure out the controls here. So, up and jump lets you, like, literally jump up a building. That's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Oh, nice try, bad guy. So this game was originally an arcade game, um, and the Sega Master System was actually one of the first systems uh, that it was ported to, because it's a Sega game. Uh, but uh, you know you know something else kind of fun and interesting about this game? Is it had an, uh, a Nintendo port. It was ported to the Nintendo Entertainment System, which, if you know anything about Sega and Nintendo, you know that they are rivals, and they don't like each other very much. Uh, so when I when I read that when I read that there was a uh, why can't I jump up here? Wait, what's going on? Oh, there we go. That's weird uh, When I read that there was a Nintendo port of this I was highly confused. I, I was sort of like why? Okay, I can't hit this guy. Wait, can I just do this? No, I can't man that guy's in like perfect cover I've never seen cover in a video game. That's so effective. Oh There we go finally um, oh my god, another guy. Oh my god, I can't hit him either. Man, this, they're getting tricky on me here. Um, yeah, so it started out as an arcade game, then it was ported to the Sega Master System, then on the Nintendo. So I was confused when I read that it was ported to the Nintendo, because I was like, what, what, what is Nintendo doing? Was there like a soft, you know, neutral ground in the 80s? You know, like Sega and Nintendo hated each other, were trying to run each other out of business, but like... You know, ninjas were like sacred, neutral, hollowed ground where like all past beefs were put aside. And in in the in the name of bettering sort of ninja rights, both companies would publish one another's ninja games. Oh, here's a fun mini game during ninja stars. Hoyo, hoyo! Oh god, oh, I'm terrible at this as it turns out. Okay, I finally got it, dude. Oh, he came and he put his hand near me, and it scared me into failing the bonus game. That sucked. Man, I, I apologize that you had to witness that, folks. Okay, we're still hunting Ken O. He uh, looks like he'd stand out in a crowd. I don't know how well he's going to blend in. Oh, there's Marilyn Monroe posters. This is like a very Marilyn Monroe pro district of this random bum. Hunt. There's Spider-Man! Oh my god, is that, is that a ninja? Ow. Oh, nice try, ninja. Nice try. Oh, that's hilarious. So I guess it's just going around saving children. You know, it, it, they could have made this a Michael Jackson themed game and you wouldn't have known the difference. <laughs> um, oh god. This is actually a little tricky. It's kind of like little puzzles and like how to go forward. Anyway, it, uh, so going back to the, uh, the question of uh, why this was on the NES, it turns out it was ported by Ten Tengen or Tengen. The uh, company that was actually run by Atari 
uh, I think, that uh, made unlicensed NES games. So Nintendo had nothing to do with the port of this game to the NES. In fact, it was completely unlicensed, and Nintendo eventually shut Tengen down for making those unlicensed games, so I guess there was no Ninja Alliance. Although I kind of thought that would be awesome. If, like, Nintendo and Sega hated each other, but put all their differences aside when it came to ninja video games, but... Alas, no. Uh, I, I, assume, I assume Sega and Nintendo had beefs all around, but... It is kind of interesting to think of Sega games... Oh my god, this guy is huge! Ow. 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 Oh my god, he's owning me! Okay. Ow. Ow. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. Wait, how am I still alive here? Ow. Okay, now I'm dead. Wow, that came out of nowhere. Okay. The first thing we got to figure out is how to avoid his steam clouds of doom here. Ow. Oh my god. Okay. And then, like, where do you hit him? Ow. Like, where is he vulnerable? I think, I think his face, maybe? Oh yeah. Like, right in his face. That's the vulnerable spot. Ah, bastard. Ow! How did he still hit me? Dick! Oh my god. This is crazy. Oh, we got him! Yes! Oh, and we just disappear off the screen instantly. They don't give you any second to relish that victory. They're like, you win! Game over! Next level. Um... Here's another fun fact about Shinobi. Oh, where are we now? We're in the, uh... We're in, like, Black Turtle Bay, fighting helicopters and thugs. I like how my guy looks like he's like a military-themed ninja. Like, he's not dressed in all black, you know, like sort of traditionally ninjas are supposed to be. Even though, like, in reality, that is definitely not accurate for, um, what ninjas actually were like back in the day. Ow. Hey, get out of here. Oh, we can go behind the, the scenery. That's cool. Um, he, he doesn't fit the stereotype of a ninja. He's more like a commando-style ninja. We're gonna do some backtracking here. I'm just gonna keep going until I collect all these children. Then we're gonna go do some backtracking. hey -oh, Nice try! We'll get you too. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh my god, I'm dead! I got killed by thugs! That's embarrassing. I don't know how far we're gonna get in this game, actually. I don't know if there's continues or what. I've never played this game before. Uh, even though I have played sequels, like Revenge of Shinobi, I think. And I think I played Shinobi 3. Um... Oh, when you kill guys, they don't come back when you die. That's kind of cool. That's interesting. I like how there's, like, the foreground and the background world in, uh... Right now. Kind of neat. Oh, yo! Kill that guy, kill that guy. Don't worry, little boy. I've got you. Anyway, here's another fun fact about, uh about Shinobi and Atari, speaking of Atari. Um, so in 1993, Atari sued Sega for infringing on some of their patents. Um, I don't know which patents they were. Oh, I just hit that guy with like a nunchuck. Apparently when you get up close to people, Shinobi here will use um, like melee weapons and stuff against them. And these guys are getting tougher. I can't put my finger on why it's getting harder, but it's definitely getting harder. Anyway, Atari sued Sega in 1993 over patents, and they were trying to stop the sale of Sega Genesis and Game Gear consoles, if you can believe it. And, uh, oh, I got that guy right away. And missed that guy. Hey, okay, we got that guy. Got that guy. Okay, I'm getting better. Boom. Boom. Oh, come on, you dicks. Ah, oh, son of a beach. Man, that's actually a hard bonus game. I guess you gotta get a feel for it. It's like the second time I've ever played it. Cut me a break, guys! So Atari's trying to shut down the sale of Genesis and Game Gear consoles. It's kinda like, what the F? Like, wait, why am I in like a brain right now? <laughs> what kind of what kind of loading dock is this? I thought this was gonna be the industrial level with helicopters and stuff. It's just like ninjas blatantly walking towards me. Am I, like, I, it looks like the alien level in, uh, in Contra, like the last level. This is so weird. Uh, can we jump up here? Jump up here? Can we jump up here? Oh, yeah, we can. Man, he jumps high. Oh, man, man, boomerang to the back of the head killed me! Damn it. Okay, I keep getting distracted. Anyway, uh, so Atari's trying to shut down Sega's console sales. 
and they eventually settle. And uh, as part of the settlement, Sega and Atari agree to um, uh, release some titles, some cross-platform titles on Atari and Sega consoles. And so one of the titles that Atari selects for their Game Gear console is Shinobi from the Master System. Think about this for a second. You know, Atari made such a big deal about their their Atari Jaguar being a 64-bit system, how much more advanced it was than Nintendo and Sega. And when they when they had the, the pick of any video game, any video game they wanted that Sega had made that they would like to see ported to their 64-bit Atari Jaguar, they selected the 8-bit Shinobi from the Master System, the Sega Master System. How the hell were they gonna advertise that? Hey, remember that Shinobi game? No, not Shinobi 3, not Shinobi 2. Shinobi 1 that you played like 12 years ago on your brother's Sega Master System? Well, we got it, only on the Atari Jaguar. Like, are you joking? Uh, I just died. Are you joking, Atari? Are you nuts? That is the stupidest decision ever. Why would you port this game? This game was dated by the time the Jaguar was out. It's like, and people wonder why the Jaguar failed. I guess there's no continues and we just have to redo this. Um, but don't worry guys, because Atari went bankrupt and the Atari Jaguar failed before they ever finished the port of Shinobi here. So yeah. Here's a little pro tip from Gaming J for all you folks who might be running a video game company out there. When you decide to port video games, when you when you get an exclusive licensing deal from one of your rivals or something like that, don't go in their back catalog and just select the oldest games you can find as the ones that you want to port to your high-tech new system. Oh my god, Atari. Atari. Atari is like the punching bag of the video game industry. Like, they're, they're just riddled with terrible decisions. I just, I don't know. It's, it's fun to... Not even hate, because I don't even hate Atari, but it's fun to, like, hate on them, or it's fun to, like, make fun of them, basically. Why can't... Sometimes I can jump up. Like, here, look. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Um, oh, I just hit that guy in the leg with, like, a ninja sword. Oh, I can't jump up because that's a wall up there. I see. So here I can jump up. I see, but that's a wall. Okay. I was confused. For some reason, I thought up there you'd be able to walk past uh, those buildings. So you can walk past things right here. But I understand. I understand what's going on now. I'm smart. Let's try this this time. Whoa! Oh, come on! I was ducking! Oh my god, he hit me twice! This is going from bad to worse. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. You know what? If we pass this level, all my mistakes will be forgiven now! <laughs> okay, we died on level one. You know what happens when you die on level one in an old video game? You just reset the game. And you give it another try. I feel like, uh, I mean, we've talked about this before, but modern games definitely have given up on the live structure. Like, three lives and you're dead. Modern video games are like, here's a checkpoint, go forever. Enjoy yourself. Um, I feel like if modern video games started to reintroduce the three lives and you're done thing, a lot of games that I can easily beat nowadays would become like virtually unbeatable. Not truly unbeatable, but they become very hard. The difficulty would spike crazy high. So it's like, you know, everyone always talks about how like old school video games are like really hard compared to modern ones. And I think really it's not ne even necessarily that they're designed harder. It's not even necessarily like the gameplay is that much harder, but it's like you have so many fewer chances, I think I would say. Like in a modern video game, sometimes you find a level and you get stuck on, you die like over and over and over and over again, and then finally you're able to figure it out and then you get past it. In old school video games, you know, like it's just like, oh, you failed three times, well, you're done. You know, get out of here. You go back to level one and that's it. Because even old school video games kind of have checkpoints. It's like when we beat a level that's kind of like getting past a checkpoint. Oh my god. That was a terrible decision. Okay, let's save these children. Man, I went through this first level so easily the first time through. Now I'm like struggling like crazy. Uh, but yeah, look, we just passed a level. So it's like we hit a checkpoint. And look, it even refills your life before the level even ends. 
They don't want to leave any doubt in your mind. They're like, you know what? Full health, baby. You earned it. So let's get this guy. So I think the idea is, oh, come on. You just don't want to let guys land in the second row, like nearest to you, and then jump. Because then you failed. I think I should just start throwing ninja stars like crazy. Okay, my new tactic on the bonus level is to just go nuts, just go flipping nuts with those ninja stars and start throwing them all over the place. Also, we have to not die until we get to the boss. And even at the boss, my goal is to not die. Hoyo, hoyo. It's interesting how this is like mainly a projectile game, but when he gets up close, he like will like use ninja weapons or something like that. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I wish after you got hit, you had a moment of invulnerability because often what happens is I'm getting hit and it's knocking me into a bad guy who then hits me again. So I'm taking two hits every time and somehow I just got life. Do you get life from rescuing the kids? Does rescuing kidnapped children from a terrorist organization invigorate your zeal for, oh God damn it, for life? Oh my God. This is bad. Don't worry, there's two children I can save. I'm about to- Oh, God damn it! You son of a beach! Okay, wait, this is the end of the level. Oh, and I got an extra life. I was gonna say, why would I save this kid? But you know what? I'm not gonna leave you to the wolves, kid. I gotcha. Shinobi leaves no child behind. So let's piece together the plot of this terrorist organization. So there are a bunch of evil ninjas. Well, actually, no, we, the ninjas only start showing up later on. Initially, it's just sort of like army dudes, like weekend warriors, like militia guys. Oh my God, oh my God, I got knocked into him and died. Son of a bitch, that's what happens when you don't have momentary invulnerability after you take a hit. That kind of shenanigans. Oh yeah, but those are some solid hits there. Okay, I'll take that hit. Oh, come on. Oh my god. It's like a challenge to even get to the right height. Oh my god. There we go. You only have to hit him like three or four times. Like, it's not actually that hard to kill this guy. I can't believe he killed us, though. Anyway, a gang of terrorists is what they are. They're, you know, they're like military army dudes. You know, like militia wannabe guys with guns and stuff. And then they happened... Those guys aligned with ninjas. So there was some behind the scenes, do uh, you know, meeting where they were like, look, you hate Shinobi, we hate Shinobi. It is time that we allied together to fight our common foe. And, oh God, damn it. Oh my God. Um, and so everyone teamed up and now we have ninjas and army guys working together. See if I can go down. Oh, this guy. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. See what I mean? Like, you mess up once, and look, most of my life is gone. And I got a nunchuck. Nunchaku. God damn it. Jeez. Okay. We should time this just right. Oh, yeah. Eat a nunchuck to the face. There we go. Let's save this kid. He'll give me life. Life up. Oh, my life bar is getting bigger. Oh, that's interesting. I could definitely use more of that. I was kind of wondering, because when we were playing level one, the life bar felt a little small, and I kind of felt like it. I thought it was bigger in level two here. But, oh, jeez, you dick. Oh, you dick. Those boomerangs are tricky, because if the guys are alive, the boomerangs will go back to them. But if you kill them after they've thrown it, the boomerang just keeps on going. Oh, thank God we passed the level. Okay, so ninjas, army guys, they aligned to fight Shinobi. They decided to kidnap every child that he loves. He He's a volunteer. Uh, he kind of like works at, in after school programs, like helping uh, children and stuff. So uh, they just went for every kid that, that's ever interacted with him. Oh, yeah, this is actually working way better. No, get out of here, green ninja. Get out of here. Um, but that's not the end of the story. They also teamed up with the alien mother brain who sent them a brain ship that they've parked in Black Turtle Harbor. Um, they're flying around in a helicopter observing the ship, I guess. And look at it. It's pulsating on the inside with, uh, with evil alien thoughts. Wait, why did my health not regenerate? 
You sons of bitches, why did my health not regenerate? Oh my god. That child was worth a thousand points. You know what? I, I haven't been realizing this whole game. But the children are power-ups. Oh, you bastard! No! It looks like I got an extra life up there, and I instantly lost it. It was stupid green injury. Oh, my life has gone back down! My life has gone back down. Okay. I think I'm understanding this game more. More and more and more. So it seems to be that when you save the children, the children are like question mark blocks in Mario. They give you things. Look, I just unlocked- that child had a bonus stage within him. Wow. Okay. So you save the children. It gives you, like, power-ups and stuff. Where'd that ninja go? He just disappeared. Oh, God! Not cool, man. Oh, my God! I jumped into your bullet that time, you dick. And these guys are hard. There we go. Uh, the game is, like, unforgiving in terms of your projectile positioning. It wants you to be, like, very precise. But, okay, so the children give you power-ups. Good to know. Now that I know this, I kind of want to try things one more time. Like, if we fail here. Is there any point to being over here or no? Nothing. Um, if we fail one more time, I kind of want to- I kind of want to try one more time and, like, be really cautious with trying not to die. Because I guess the way you get really advanced in this game, and you become, like, unstoppable, is by saving a bunch of kids and not dying. Oh my god! Wow, we actually survived. Shocked. Life max. Um... Wait, where do we go now? Oh, there we go. That would have been nice if they had, like, kind of revealed to us that was where we were supposed to go, instead of just, like, leaving it uh, a little unclear. Like, I couldn't even see what was above me. Oh, you bastard. Get out of here! Ooh, power up. Sound sounded like an extra life sound effect to me there. Oh, you dick! Like, the enemies, as soon as they pop on the screen... Imagine you're playing Mario, and the second a Goomba appears, he, like, throws a boomerang at you. <laughs> Ooh, we got the sword. Um, I think that's the end of the level, that door right there, but I kind of want to go and save some more children for power-up purposes. Get out of here! Also, we did unlock a bonus stage, so let's not forget about that. We might actually be able to beat a bonus level for once in our lives, once in our miserable shinobi lives. I mean, I guess actually we don't need to restart if, if we keep on going. Like, if I don't die, there's no point in restarting. <clears throat> but I have no idea what this boss is gonna do, so let's see. Can I pass a bonus level for the first time ever? Well, I'm doing pretty good, actually. Oh, go, 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 go! There's too many guys in the front row! Oh, I got the blue ninja. Too many guys in the front row, too many guys! Son of a bitch, it's too fast! It's too fast! That is so hard. What do you get when you pass a bonus level in Shinobi? Is it just like pride? Is it just like the confidence to be who you really are on the inside? I don't know. Am I back out of the ship? What was the point of that alien-based ship? Oh my god, now we have like serious platforming. Oh, get out of here! Scuba ninjas. I see what's going on! Oh! Oh, I'm not dead! Oh. I just assumed... Oh my god, I'm literally about to die from damage. Oh, you bastards. This is... this is insanely tricky. Oh, get out of here. Oh. There we go, there we go. It's happening. We're, we're making it work. Oh my god, this is... Like, the, the placement of enemies in this game is so tricky. I died in a shallowy grave. Apparently my guy can either walk on water or that water's not deep at all. Just like... Back off, dude! Oh, I kicked him! Kicked him in the groin. Yeah, I knew there was a ninja in there. Oh, God! Oh, God! No, back off! You make one mistake in this game. You know what? This kind of reminds me of the Adventures of Bayou Billy. You guys remember that game? It was like an old NES game. It was actually insanely difficult. Um, it was insanely difficult because, like, enemies were, like, relentless in that game. Oh, bastard. Oh, I'm still alive! Somehow. Children, give me life! Bonus stage, life up. Oh my god, and I'm dead. Alright, we'll give this one more shot, but this is... I don't know how much further we're gonna get in this game. It's quite challenging.
Um, but yeah, the adventures of Bayou Billy. The reason it reminds me of that is because there's like scu- there's like guys in scuba suits that like pop out of the swamp to like fight you in Bayou Billy. Bayou Billy is more of a side-scrolling brawler though, kind of like Final Fight. I mean, that's what it is. Um, I, I mean, I guess it does have bonus stages where you're driving around and stuff like that and like shooting guns and stuff. It actually, Bayou Billy has a variety of stages. It's actually kind of a cool game. Um, its downfall was its insane difficulty. Most people including myself, could barely get past level one reliably. Um, like, passing level one was like a huge achievement. It would take you like all afternoon of playing video games. And then you pass level one, and the like driving and the shooting stages were like dead easy. Then you get to the next brawling stage, you just die again. Because it's like the guys were like literally so tough. Um, all right, just making sure we're not leaving any ch- children behind. I wonder if there's, like, is, are there any other moves I could be doing here? Like a slide or something? No. If you hold down and jump, you, your guy just jumps up. Die! Oh, I sworded him. I don't know what the advantage of getting the sword or the nunchucks or anything is, because when you get up close to people, it seems like one shot and they die. So it's not like when you have the sword, you know, it's like all of a sudden you're doing, like, extra damage. You can, like, deflect bullets. That would be a bon- that would be an ability I would want as a sword. The ability to, like, deflect a bullet. Boom. Boom. Alright, we're getting a feel for this, I think. This game is like, you just have to, like, inch forward, and the second you see someone, you, like, duck or jump, you know? Like, get out of the way. But you just have to be very careful. Boom. Alright. Look at our life! Our health bar is maxed out. We have extra health. We have two lives. We're doing good, guys. Oh, God. Now we're going to die. Die at the bonus stage. Die. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting them. We're getting them. Nice try. Oh, we're getting, like, everyone, too. Oh, we're about to We're about to lose. We're, we're literally about to lose. No! <laughs> I saw it coming. It's like if you miss one ninja... Why, why is that a bonus stage? It's like bonus stages are supposed to be things where like you get something no matter how well you do, where it's not even that hard. That's not, that's, that's a brutal bonus stage. That's insane. Also, what is with these Marilyn Monroe things? Why are we in a neighborhood that really loves Marilyn Monroe? I don't understand. Oh God, okay. Boom, eat it. And your timing has to be, like, insane on this game. Hi oh I ninja'd that, or I sorted that guy. Boom. Out of here. Right, we're getting better. I can, like, sort of reliably get past these, like, little henchmen dudes without taking much damage. Oh, my God. Like, look at the, look at this chaos here. This is nuts. There we go. Got that guy. Got that guy. Like, I'm, I'm doing it. But this is just, like, chaos, man. That kid was worth full health. I guess I should have reserved him. I wish, uh, you know how, like, in Doom and stuff, when you're playing Doom, and, uh, you know, you find, like, a health pack, but you don't need health, and you're like, oh, I'm not gonna pick that up now. And you go and you play more of the level, and you get damaged, and you come back for health. Well, that kid that I picked up just a moment ago, he gave me full life. If the game had indicated to me that picking him up would have given me full life, I would not have rescued that kid, and I would have waited until, like, I actually... Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, God. Oh, I can't believe we did that. I would have actually waited until we took some damage, and I would have gone back and saved the kid. So it's just funny to think of treating hostage children as health packs that, like, you're going to save selectively depending on whether you need the health. It's pretty funny, actually. All right, Kenno. Got you this time, bro. I got you this time. Ow. Okay, we just got to get him like three times oh yeah done we iced that mofo done all right we're getting better i'm noticing it is fun to play these old games that are like brutally hard and to like see watch your skills get gradually better and better you know like i i don't have any illusions that we're gonna like pass this game or anything or become like shinobi masters but I feel like we're getting a little better. Also, I did not notice, but I'm no longer throwing ninja stars. I'm throwing, like, knives at this point. I've, like, upgraded. I'm getting, like, more, uh, more serious about, uh, my shinobiing. 
Okay, so if I jump up here, he's probably gonna throw a boomerang and hit me. If I jump up here, he's probably just gonna walk into me and hit me. Ah, yeah, like, I don't know. Ah, uh, let's try it. There will be a kid that will give me full health anyway. Okay, I only took one hit. That's fine, whatever. Will this guy damage me if I walk into him? I feel like I'm in the background right now, so he should not damage me. But I feel like also this game probably has whatever's most unfair is what the game's going to do. Is my prediction. Oh, oh, I threw a grenade or something. Oh my god, whoa. Wait, do I have unlimited of those? I threw a grenade at a child. He was not afraid. What the heck? Wait, I can throw grenades? Oh my god. Wait, now I can't duck and, and shoot though. Wait, what's happening? Wait, why can't I throw projectiles? Oh no, this is actually terrible. <laughs> Wait. So I no longer have ninja stars. For some reason, I only have grenades, which I like grenades in theory, but this is, this is bad. Okay, hold on, how do I, is there a way to like select? Yeah, hold on, I, got, I gotta go check the Shinobi manual. Okay, directional button, button one, button two, we have that. Button one, throw a shuriken, use sword, nunchucks, bombs, gun, punch when enemies is close, and kick when squatting. Button two to jump. Uh, up and button two to super jump, down to jump, and down to kick. Is there no way to change your weapons? So it's just like you get the grenades and it's like now you're stuck with that? The object of Shinobi is to rescue the hostages and defeat the underlings and leaders of the treacherous Ring of Five. There are five missions to Shinobi. Okay. So that's that's fine. Um, bonus rounds. Hey, maybe it will tell us what we get if we succeed. If you make it through the bonus round, you receive 500 points for every ninja you hit and earn the use of ninja magic. Oh man, we've been missing out on ninja magic this whole time. If you clear the bonus stage, you'll be able to use ninja magic. The knowledge of ninja magic will be shown um, top screen. Ninja magic gives you many powers to use it. You must take out 10 enemies in the following round. When the leftmost tile starts flashing, you may use ninja magic. You may have up to four ninja magic tiles. My god, there's like a whole other thing you can do in this game that makes your life easier. And we can't even unlock it because we suck so bad at the, uh, the bonus level. Metal binding magic freezes the movement of enemies on the screen. Invincible magic will blink on and off. Oh my god. Eight hands. Release eight other selves. We'll defeat all the enemies on the screen. This sounds so cool. Lightning magic. Oh my god. So, basically, because we suck, we're not allowed to see the cooler things in the game. Pistol, like the real thing. Point and shoot. The bullets will knock down both enemies and certain types of vehicles. Okay, so I guess as you upgrade... You go from shuriken to knife to bombs to pistols. So we're stuck with the bombs right now, but in theory, we can upgrade. It'd be so handy to be able to use bombs strategically, though, because bombs are great when enemies are at a lower level than you. But when they're at the same elevation as you, you definitely want like a shuriken or a gun. So I, I feel like that's kind of a design flaw of the game. Like the game could be so much more interesting if they allowed you to switch between them. Helpful hints, the enemies, especially the leader of the Ring of Five, attack in patterns. Learn the patterns and attack when they are vulnerable. Each enemy leader has a weak spot. Find it and hit him there. Try extra hard to make it through to the bonus uh, rounds. If you make it, you'll be able to use ninja magic and get higher points. Getting longer range weapons, guns, bombs. What the hell? Man, man Rakugari chain will make it easier to beat the enemies. And they even have a score book for you to enter. Handling the cartridge, don't bend or crush or submerge in liquids. Why would you do that? Uh, warranty, and that's it. All right, well, no help there, but at least it kind of re reveals to us what's going on. Um, all right, well, let's uh, keep going, I guess. All right, little kitty. Hey, maybe this kid will give me uh, a gun. I can only hope. Oh, my God. The fact that I have a bomb is now going to kill me. Oh my god. Like, I can't get close enough to this guy to hit him. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, we got him. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Oh my god, the fact that I don't have shurikens is insanely hard. 
I passed the level barely. I'm so gonna die. This sucks. Oh my god, my guy is all powered up. Oh, I can use ninja magic. Okay, what did they say? I gotta kill like eight guys here. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on. Seven. Eight. I got it. Didn't I? No, you bastards. I killed eight. Give me the ninja magic, please. I'm gonna say you failed. Son of a bitch. I wonder if that's easier on the ar in the arcade. Because the arcade version, um, I think you can throw, throw the shurikens faster. I've seen gameplay footage of it before. I think they go faster. My god. Oh my god. And we have these crit. One hit and I'm dead. We have these crippled grenades. We're gonna take this real slow. There we go. Like, just inching forward. Come on, one of you has to have life. A thousand points, I don't care. I have three lives. I got an extra life, but I need health, man. I need health, kid. You gotta help me. Help, computer. It's a reference to the old G.I. Joe PSAs. Bonus stage unlocked. Does not help me. Okay, we're gonna duck. Oh my god. Life! Son of a bitch, kid! Why are you only worth a thousand points? Oh, I whipped that guy with, uh, nunchucks. I whipped him like- Oh, son of a bitch! No! No! And it resets all my power-ups. My whole huge life bar is gone. All right. Well, I can say that, like, this is definitely, like, an old-school classic uh, video game. You know, definitely I'm getting, like, the old-school, like, Nintendo vibes and stuff out of it. Um, the thing that sucks is it's difficult. It's just unforgiving. And it's not even unforgiving... Oh, my God. It's not even unforgiving in, like, uh, you know... I mean, it is unforgiving in, like, the placement of the bad guys and stuff like that. But it's, like, the fact that it takes all your power-ups away when you die really sucks. It, it, I mean, it's kind of like uh, Gradius or Gradius or whatever. And I kind of get it. Like, I'm not saying that it necessarily should have let you keep all the power-ups. But it would be nice to just, maybe when you die, you, like, downgrade back one level. Or maybe it's a little easier to... Oh, God damn it! Get the power-ups to begin with. Oh my God. Did that give me full life? It totally did. I guess it was kind of worth it. Oh my God. Like, the, the bad guys in this are insane. It is... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm, I'm dying. I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't get out of that. Like, when you get hit, you... There's no recovery time. There's no period of invincibility. Like, this is, like, old school hard. Um... It's hard to, like, fault this game too much because the era that this came out in, all games were like this. Um, and we did get better. I think the secret to doing well at this game is you have to learn the first couple of levels so well that you can, like, plow through them and you can come out the other end with, like, all the power-ups. Like, honestly, I'm playing really bad right now, but I kind of feel like, what's the point? Like, I've lost all my power-ups. Um, I'm so weak right now. In fact, okay. We're gonna try one more time. Because I want to get through this first stage with all my power-ups so that we can actually, like, see something like the gun or something like that. And in fact, I am determined we're going to beat this bonus level and get these this ninja magic. But bear with me a bit. The the old school... Oh my god. Oh god. The, uh, the old school Jay that can't put down a controller until he's actually beaten a game is coming out, guys. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I'm like the Hulk. Only incredibly far less scary, far less effective in combat. And I'm nothing like the Hulk. Far weaker, less muscular, less intelligent. I'm just a dude who plays video games. I remember though as a kid, honestly, like I would get like Hulk level mad when I played video games. Did you guys ever do that? Like I... I honestly, when I was a kid, I loved video games, loved them so much, but I would get frustrated. And like, you know, it's understandable. Look at the video games I was playing back in the day. Like, this is the kind of game I would play. Some of the games I would, I loved were like brutally hard. I remember getting so mad once that I took my controller, I held it by the cable, 
and I whipped it on the table. <laughs> like I whipped the entire control on the table until I broke it. <laughs> like that's how mad I got. My parents were not happy about that one, I can tell you. They uh, they got a little upset at me. They might have taken my Nintendo away for a bit. But yeah, I, I broke a controller when I was a child because I was so mad. I don't even remember what Nintendo game it was. But you know, it uh, wasn't my high point. But I was a kid, so it's excusable, right? Okay, concentrating, concentrating. Come on, die ninjas! Die ninjas! No! Oh! Holy shit, did we pass? I don't want to stop throwing shurikens, I'm too afraid. We did it! We did it! What did we get? We got ropes? You know, I don't even know how to use the ninja magic. We're probably gonna have to go back to the manual for that. But what what do the ropes do again? I don't even remember. Okay, hold on, we should look it up. Metal binding magic. Why does it look like a rope? Freezes the movement of all enemies on the screen. Okay, how do we actually use ninja magic? Um, throw shuriken, use sword, nunchaku. I mean, I assume it's button one. Punch and kick. How do, how do you use the magic? I mean, I guess we'll just see if we, if it activates when we need it. Um, they said that uh, in the manual, it does say that it will like blink when it's ready. Oh, it was tight. Boom. Get these kids. Getting past these first two levels is not hard now. Like, I can more or less pass these levels without dying. Um, but it's, like, this part's actually a little tricky. Boom. Boom. There we go. Um, the next level is gonna be harder, though. Okay. That thing is blinking. How do we activate it? I'm, like, trying different buttons and stuff. Both buttons at once. Start. No, that just pauses the game. I have I have no idea. Oh my god, I took a hit stupidly. Okay. Trying to figure out how to use ninja magic is like costing me life. God. Go down. I have no idea. <laughs> Do you need the second controller or something? That is so weird. I'm gonna have to look. You know what? The manual is actually not that helpful. I'm gonna have to ow, look up a... Uh, like a walkthrough online, I think. I think that would be more helpful, actually. Damn it, we uh, didn't get full health on that one. That's uh, problematic. Maybe we can pass another bonus level and get even more ninja magic. Wouldn't that be something? Or is this the boss? I think it's the boss, yep. Okay, so we just gotta get like four hits on him. Oh God. Oh God. No! Oh! No! No! Oh! We got him! Holy crap! We have no life! Oh, I thought I was dead! I thought I was dead! Oh my god. Ken O. You bastard. So when you lose all your life, it looks like you can, like, take an extra hit or something? I don't understand the mechanics. Uh, but at least we have full life now. Okay, I gotta look up this magic thing. Okay. Ninja magic. Blah, 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 those are the things. Okay, that's the power-ups. Wait, but how do you use ninja magic? Wait, where's the controls? Oh, wait, cheat codes. At the title screen, after the face appears, hold down and press button two. This will allow you to choose your level. What the? Okay, I actually had to look this up on Reddit. Um, but in order to use ninja magic, you have to defeat 10 enemies, and then the screen will start blinking. And then what you do is you, okay, we're gonna jump and duck. Uh, then what you do is you hold the jump button, I think, and then you tap the attack button and then you'll jump up and do your ninja magic thing. I wish that had been explained somewhere, but whatever. Um, okay. Why don't we actually go behind this guy? Safer. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, we have the grenades now. Actually, the grenades kind of help with this part. Because, like, guys... Oh, dick. Guys are, like, at a different elevation than us. Okay, so we can use ninja magic if we want. Let's save it for when it makes sense. But then I will definitely try to use it. Boom. Die, dude. 
I might use it on these guys over here. Yeah, these guys are kind of tough. Okay. Do we go... Oh, God. Hold on. Jump. There we go. Oh, God. He's frozen. Get him. Oh, that did kind of work, actually. Okay. That was kind of cool. That actually made that part way easier than it was last time. I think I lost a lot of health on that last time. All right, knowing that we have ninja magic, we might actually be able to make a little progress here. Okay. But I think it all rests on whether we can get more ninja magic. I feel like ninja magic is the key to this game. Like maybe getting better and better at this bonus stage is like what you have to do. Oh, we did it! Yes! Eat my eat my shurikens. You get that thing. Uh, I think that makes me invincible. I want to check that out. So hold on, let's uh pause this. All right, we got. It's either eight hands or the invincible. I think that was invincible though. My guess, yeah, it looks like that one. All right. Oh yeah, and we still have the uh, stupid grenade. If we can just survive long enough to power this up, I think we'll be fine. It's like getting to that point, though, is a little tricky. But... I don't know, maybe the grenade's, like, uh, secretly OP? It's just really bad at range. But if we, like, don't take hits from guys... Yeah. One thing- one other thing that kind of sucks is, like, when bad guys appear on the screen, they, like, totally hit you instantly, but look how far to the left I am to walk left. I wish it would keep your guy closer to the center. Like, I wish I could be back here and walk and the screen would scroll to the left, so that I would have, like, more time to know when I'm about to get hit in the face! Oh, nice try, ninja. Like, you really just have to, like, edge your way forward. Yeah, see? Like, look at that guy. That dick. I'm just going to be very cautious here. I don't want to have a repeat of what happened last time. Throwing grenades. Okay. So we can jump up. Then we can, like, duck and whip that guy. We can throw a grenade at that guy. Ooh, we miss. Oh, I jumped down. <laughs> and duck. Ha! Huh! There we go. All right. I do like the fact that you have an arcing weapon in this game. Like, the grenades are actually kind of useful. It's just, again, I wish I could switch back to my shuriken when I needed to. Um, like, look, this guy who's given me so much trouble many times before, I just killed him once with the grenade. Like, it's so easy. So, uh, oh, look, we even have, uh, we've unlocked uh, a ninja magic. I don't even know if I need to use it at the moment, though. Are you... Do it? Yeah, you like hold the jump button. Oh, you dick! Oh, yeah, see, the uh, the grenades are actually... Maybe they are OP. Maybe it's the weapon you do want to get good at. Damn it, I can't believe that guy got me. Oh, he did. Oh, we have the gun now, though, so I guess we're done with the grenades. Die, ninjas! Oh my god, I jumped! I juked that! That was crazy. Yeah, like, guys just appear off the screen. Like, with no warning. Crazy. All right, we're doing pretty good on this level so far. Like, here, I wish I had the grenade for these guys. Because you could kill them from standing up here, just lob grenades at them. But whatever. Whatever. I'm not a ninja to look a gift horse in a mouth. We've, we're, we're doing better now than we have done at any point before. Also, I like how my guy is like... He's like, yes, I am a ninja. I follow the ancient arts. He's like, but if you give me a gun, I'd much rather use that. Like, he's totally willing to just grab a gun and, uh, you know, like, ice some baddies. Like, he's not the honorable kind of ninja who's like, I do not use firearms, you know? Like, he's like, no, no. He's like, I'll, I'll totally use a gun. He's not like Batman or anything. He doesn't have anything against guns. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. That one actually went really bad. All right, well, we have some, we have some ninja magic. Hopefully it's enough to get us past the next level. It is interesting how like there's a blatant cheat of just holding down and pressing B or whatever. Or button 2 I guess it is. I always want to say A and B because I'm trained on Nintendo but I think a Master System had button 1 and button 2. Um, get out of here. 
know your guys mo this time come on come on i know you're there i know you're there you want some boom oh you dicks okay nice try ninjas okay they're like stuck on the pole there <laughs> every time i <laughs> aha yes oh, i think there was two two there Interesting. So these guys, like, live in the water. They can't get on land, I guess. Let's shoot this guy. Boom. Down you go. I think there's another guy. Oh my god, you can crawl? That almost is a game changer. <laughs> wow, the things we're learning this, this run through. Boom. Crawling is actually... Might make my life a hell of a lot easier. Sorry, kids. Didn't mean to shoot you with a bullet. Um, oh my god, look how long our life bar is now. Get out of here. This is exciting, guys. We're actually making progress in this game. I was ready to write this game off and be like, there's no way we're gonna get very far. See, this is a secret, though. Oh my god. Okay, that's not the secret. But the secret is that you have to get really good at level one to the point where you can, like, gather up all the power-ups and then just become overpowered for, level for the later levels. I feel like that was the secret in, like, even Contra. If, if back in the day when I was playing Contra, if I didn't leave the first level with the spread gun, I would just reset. And especially even if you died in level two and you lost the spread gun, it was sometimes worth it to just be like, ah, forget it, you know, and like, go for, uh, go for resetting. Like, having the spread gun early was the secret to doing well in that game. All right, we're going to redeem ourselves this time. We're not going to lose two bonus levels in a row. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, we got it. Yes! Oh my god, it got real tight at the at the end there. When those like uh two guys were both at the front at the same time. Oh, what is this? Like ninja lightning? Um, we're gonna have to look that up too. Although this might be a boss right here, I'm guessing. Oh my god, we're fighting a helicopter. Okay, hold on, time out! Okay, Cass calls down lightning magic to destroy all your enemies. I wonder if it just straight up one-shots the boss. We can't activate it until we kill uh, 10 ninjas, though, so... I don't know if this is gonna work out for us. But we shall see! Okay, I'm willing to bet that that group, that, like, yellow thing... Oh my god. Back off, ninjas! Oh my god, no, no! Things are going south! Okay. Uh, we just gotta like... Oh my god, oh my god, no! Missiles! No! Back off! No, ninjas! Back off, ninjas! No! All my sweet power-ups! Do I lose the magic too? If I lose the magic, it's game over. Oh, I don't lose the magic. Oh, we lost every power-up. That sucks. Okay, so maybe it, this is just like an endurance round. You just have to like survive the onslaught of ninjas. Oh my god. I do like no damage against them now. Okay, get out of the corner. God, no. Yeah. Uh, kick him in the nuts. Ugh. This is actually like very challenging. It's like, it's like tapping into all my like 8-bit uh, platformer skills. Kick them. Kick them. Oh my god, they got me. I'm like on the ropes here. Oh. Oh, oh, no! God, die! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, you know what? We had, like, a really solid run. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing to damage this thing. Like, I presume, like, that's the thing to damage, or maybe not. I don't even know. Like, maybe these ninjas are just a distraction. But I can't believe that we powered up so intensely. We, we have all this ninja magic we literally cannot use. We have to kill ten of these guys. I think, and then it will let us use ninja magic, but like, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, good luck killing 10 of those guys. All right, we're going to go to the title menu, and we're going to select the final stage, and we'll just, uh, we'll wrap up on that. But, uh, yeah, pretty much this, this stage is not being beaten. Maybe if I, oh, they don't even die to a kick. You know what the secret to this level is? Oh my god, not doing- not- don't do what I'm doing, that's not the secret. The secret is if you're powered up, you have to like get the ninjas the second they land, I think. I think that's the secret. 
Or you know what? There's probably like a spot on the map you can stand, a spot on the screen where the ninjas will never land on you. There's always like a little exploit like that in these old games where it's like, if you're just standing in the right spot, the bad guy can't touch you. Like standing on top of the barrels and Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and like hitting Rocksteady with Don's bow. Uh, that was definitely, uh, you know, a secret spot that all us kids knew back in the day. Um, we can just straight up go to the last boss. <laughs> let's just see. I'm just curious. Like, let's, we're fighting the masked ninja. How doable is this? Um, oh my god. Oh, I think we, we might have hit him, actually. Ow. Ow. Okay, he's, he might kill us. Get away from us. Get away from us. Okay, we're totally dead. All right, so that's not gonna happen. It is funny how you can just literally go to like whatever level. You can go to the last boss if you want. Anyway, let's go to the last level like I said we would, and we'll just check it out. So the final guy is like a ninja in a mask, and he's real hard. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Oh my god, they start you off hardcore, they're like, screw you, you don't get any time to orient yourself to what's going on. Just, the battle begins, man. The battle begins. Oh my god. So we're in sort of ancient, or not even ancient, we're just in like a mystical area of Japan, I guess. Fighting, uh, equally matched. Oh, I fell in the pit! <laughs> we can all see how well I would have done on this level had I made it here. Anyway, Shinobi here is one of the games in the Book of Thousand One video games you must play before you die. I mean, I think Shinobi is definitely such a household name in terms of classic video games that um, it does sort of feel to me like, um, you know, if you are a fan of retro games, you probably should uh, check out Shinobi at some point. But that said, it's like, I'm not convinced necessarily that this Shinobi is the one you want to check out. I mean, certainly, if you really are into retro games, you should try the original Shinobi. Um, but from the other Shinobi games I've played on my channel, I think the... <laughs> His butt killed me. It knocked me into a pit. He didn't even turn around. How insulting. He, he considered me so, so little to be a threat that he didn't even bother turning around. Oh, those guys jump up and down with you. Look at that. It's actually kind of crazy, so you can't escape them. Oh, nice try, dude. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, I, I don't necessarily think this is the Shinobi that everyone's going to enjoy, because it is so old and hard. But definitely if you like that sort of old school challenge, I mean, there's a game here. And it's an iconic and, you know, was an influential game. So, uh, yeah, it might be worth checking out. I think, uh, you know, they're, the later Shinobi games, I think, are more playable. This is just, this just strikes me as, like, hardcore, man. Like, hardcore, so. Um, I had fun with it today, but as a retro game, I mean, I was expecting it to be hard. Just not this hard, but this is crazy. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of Shinobi here. Is it a game that you grew up playing? Were you able to beat the game? I would love to hear from people who are able to beat this. It strikes me like a Ninja Gaiden type game where it's like very few people have ever actually beaten it, uh, despite people even coming back and playing it as adults. I mean, it looks cool. Um, it just feels insanely hard. But yeah, let me know what your what your memories, uh, your opinions and experiences are with this game. I'd love to hear that. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys just had fun. Um, if you did, um, I hope you will uh, remember to like the video, subscribe, all that jazz, share this video with your friends and family, and uh, other than that, until we meet again, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. Alrighty, guys. Peace. You win.